The ECL IDE is a simple and easy way to create queries into your data and ECL files that you can use to build queries using ECL, the Enterprise Control Language. The ECL IDE is a programmer's tool mainly used to create ECL files and designed to make ECL coding as easy as possible. In order to get the ECL IDE, we need to download the ECL IDE. We go to hpccsystems.com, the HPCC Systems portal, and choose Download the HPCC Systems platform. From here, choose your operating system, which in my case is Windows, and then make sure that the ECL IDE and Client Tools for Windows is selected. Press the download button. Take a minute to fill out the survey here, then go ahead and press the submit button to begin your download. Fill out the survey here, then go ahead and press the submit button to begin your download. Once you've downloaded, you can double click on it to begin the installation. If you have the IDE already installed, you'll be prompted to remove it, which I would advise is a good idea. At this point, just go ahead and accept and Press Next, agree to the license agreement, read it if you must, choose your install. Again, you can probably just accept the defaults and complete the installation. Installation complete, press Next, press Finish to complete the installation, and you should have installed your IDE. Once you complete, press next, press finish to complete the installation, and you should have installed your IDE. Once you've installed the ECL IDE, just click on the icon or go to your start menu and start the ECL IDE. Since you do not have any default configurations, the first time you run the ECL IDE, it will open the preferences window to allow you to set up your default configuration. And these, all you really need here is the IP address of the ESP server or the ES, ECL watch that points to your HPCC cluster. Now, you're going to point to your cluster. I'm going to use a virtual machine, which I set up in a prior video. In this one, the IP address is 192.168.56.101. And that's all you'll need. Press Apply click OK, and that will bring up your login dialog. And don't worry, you can always go back in and set up another configuration for another machine later. And you can also make other changes to customize your editor, the colors, compiler, and other things right here in your preferences. But for now, we just want to have the IP address pointing to our ESP server. And at this point, if you were connecting to a non-virtual system, you would use your login ID and password provided for that system. Since we're using a, one of our virtual machines, that user ID login is HPCC demo. 
And this establishes a session between the ECL IDE and your HPCC system. And just like that, our IDE should open up. And take a note down here in the lower right hand corner that it does come with some sample ECL already included. So what we're going to do here, we're going to create a new builder window by pressing this icon. You can also go to the file menu, the orb, and select new builder. We'll also create a new builder window. And let's write some ECL. With a very simple output. Hello world. And check F and press F7 to check the syntax or press this icon right here. It's always even a simple one line program like this is always a good idea just to check the syntax and see that you have no errors. At this point, you're going to select your target cluster, which will be Thor for this example, and then submit the code. You can see the status of your job right here, and the green check mark shows that it's completed. You can press the work unit tab to see the results. And you can also go to ECL Watch, and you can see your work units right here. Okay.